Well, all this week, we are profiling the first American expedition to visit the Edmund Fitzgerald. Diving to the wreck is best left to submarines, and tonight we'll climb into the small two-man sub called Delta. News 5's Rick Mixter takes us there on Expedition 94. This plunge into Lake Superior was actually Delta's freshwater baptism. The little yellow sub has been in oceans around the world, but today was her first mission in the Great Lakes. Delta is a research submarine that normally helps scientists understand undersea life. Delta isn't as large or as equipped as many of its competitors, but they've surprised a lot of people as to what they can do. To get the mission done, we don't have a lot of bells and whistles, and we're not that glamorous, and, and uh, we tend to try to be low-key and, and, and please our clients and get down, get the job done, and do a lot of diving. Kind of the sports car of subs, I think. It, it's small, and it's fast, and it, it turns quick, maneuvers real well. Do you even keep track of how many trips you've made in this yet? Me personally? Yeah. I lost count at 700. I had closing in on 1,000. Sub drivers are called pilots because they fly through the water. Delta can only carry two people, so the pilots rotate after every mission. Rounding out the team is Jerry Brown. He tracks the sub and maintains communications through a hydrophone. Delta can dive below 1,000 feet, so the 500-foot depth of the Fitzgerald was no problem. Difficulties exist in the condition of the wreck. I always feel safe uh, as far as the integrity of the sub is. It, the, the sub dives at 1,200 feet, and I have no apprehensions about the sub ever failing. Now, the problem is you have to be careful about what's down on the bottom, and namely fishing nets, lines, things like that that you can get caught on. Delta made several trips for Expedition 94, recording nearly 14 hours of video and taking several hundred pictures with her side-mounted cameras. She was also instrumental in marking the sailor's gravesite with a plaque, forever remembering the 29 men who lost their lives when the Fitz sank. Aboard the sub Delta, this is Rick Mixter, News 5. 